Now, we will get some Screamers doing this, but, you know, because of the way we have our, our setup here, if any Screamers come down here, they're going to be in a, you know, they're going to be hurting. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is kg 4 e and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. We're on vanilla, guys. We're back on vanilla. I know you missed it. Anyway, um, what are we going to be doing today? Today is going to be mostly about the auger. We need to get that auger. Um, we will lose the auger by day 22. So I think first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to go get the auger. And you might be saying, Cage, you needed 17,000 dukes. How the hell are you going to get the auger? I think I mentioned this last video, but just in case I didn't, Pick a nick tables are the way to make money in Alpha 17. Now, I'm going to let you guys know. You better take advantage of this because this is going to get nerfed. Okay? Because this is ridiculous. All right? Um, picking tables only take 25 wood, 10 nails, and 4 forged iron. <clears throat> and let's say you make 10 of them. All right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at 10. All right? So, let's say for 100 nails, 40 forged iron... And 250 wood, you will get 1,300 dukes. You know, looking at it like that, well, I mean, 100 nails is nothing. 100 nails is nothing, and 40 forged iron is not a lot either. You know? So, I don't know. I think it's pretty powerful. I don't know if it's overpowered, but it's 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 um it's pretty powerful. I do expect it to be nerfed. I don't think the Funfims want to selling picnic tables. Honestly, I think the problem with the picnic tables is that they stack. Like, why do picnic tables stack? It seems kind of weird to me, but it is what it is. They stack. I'm going to make a killing off it. We're going to get the auger today. That's going to be phenomenal. That's going to save me some points in intellect, possibly. All right. The fact that I'm going to get the auger means I do not need to go into level one. I don't need to go into intellect 10. All right. For this. But I do want to go to intellect 10 for this military grade and steel armor. Military grade armor. Here's the question, guys. Do I... Save my points. Now, in order to go to Intellect 9, I'm going to need four points. If I go to Intellect 9 and then I use a book um, to get uh, Hammer and Forge, uh, you know, five or whatever, I think I can do it, even with the Intellect 10. I don't... At intellect 9, I believe I can use a Hammer and Forge um, book to get this, and then I can make the military armor, and then I'll have it. I'm thinking about saving those four points, though. I'm thinking about saving those four points and just buying military armor where I see it. The problem is, I don't really have like good opportunities to get good military armor i've been seeing military armor it's just not good quality so i think what i'm going to do is instead of putting those points into that i'm going to put them into better bartering now what do i need better bartering yeah see i can't even do better bartering uh right there maybe we will go into like nine i'm not really sure i'm definitely going to go better bartering here because that will make the trader secret stash better which will mean that um hopefully i'll get uh better opportunities at that good military armor um so honestly i'm the, the, the jury's kind of out. I might go Intellect 9. I might not. I really want that military armor, though. So I, I, might, be, I might be forced to do it. All right. So um, while that's doing its thing, we're making some forged iron here, which is just great. Keep making that forged iron. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab everything. We're going to work on the base during the night. And in the morning, we will go, uh, you know, buy ourselves an auger. I think that will be a lot of fun. Good time is had by all. All right, so while we're on our way out there, I think now nah, you know what I'm gonna hold on to the uh, I'm gonna hold on to the forged iron. I was gonna I was gonna turn the forged iron into um, into uh, uh, spikes, but the thing is um, I don't think I'm gonna do that. And the reason I'm not gonna do that is because I needed to upgrade wooden bars. So when I call them wooden iron bars, I can mean they're just iron bars. <laughs> uh, first of all, though, I want to show you a little thing I've been doing over here, which is I don't know I don't know why this matters to me. It's just I feel like it's pretty cool. I've been planting trees along this road. For no real reason. Now, trees do cause lag. So this is not something you want to do in an area where lag is going to be an issue. The thing is, I don't think lag is going to be a huge issue here. Because it is by my my um, my regular base. It's not my horde base. I would never plant trees like this by my horde base. That's just asking for trouble. But for this kind of situation, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I kind of like this. Maybe you can make a little roadway here with just a, a bunch of trees going down it. I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe put lights in between the trees. This reminds me of a thing I did back in my Minecraft days when I was Let's Playing Minecraft. I made a spooky forest in Minecraft. I um I put a bunch of trees in there, and it was like pitch dark. And then I put a bunch of uh, redstone torches um, to make it like super scary. Um, and that's what this is kind of reminding me of. And I I, I don't know. I, I think that'd be pretty cool. 
I think I'm going to do it. Uh, if the lag becomes an issue, I'll chop them all down, but I'm hoping I won't have to. Uh, like I said, these trees will not come into play during Horde Night, which is the only time lag's ever an issue for me. So, eh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We might want to also get rid of all this corn, too. Oh, man, I didn't think about that with all the lag. People are saying you got to get rid of all that corn because you want to be able to see. But, oh, man, I might want to get rid of all that corn because of the freaking lag. I didn't even think about that. Gosh darn it. Freaking stupid corn. This is going to take forever, though. I don't want to be doing this. Like, who the, this is not the way I want to spend my game time. Punching freaking corn. Alright, well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and use the stairs. A lot of people said that um, I could use uh, wedges here. And then some other. a lot of people said I could, instead of using wedges, use stairs. Uh, I'm going to use stairs. A lot of people did confirm the stair thing. So I think it'll be pretty cool to use some stairs. And if they don't work, they don't work. We'll see. But I'm thinking they're going to work. Because a lot of people said they did work. And not one person contradicted that fact. So I'm going to assume this is going to work. And what I'll do is I will leave them at the concrete level. So in case they don't work, I could break them out. And, you know, if they're concrete, it won't be too bad. Plus, stairs are, are very different. This is not something I've done before. Um, so, you know, I'm always looking for new stuff, right? I'm always looking for stuff I haven't done before. So this definitely qualifies. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. And do we have enough? Oh, yeah, look at that. We're going to have enough. I didn't even count. I just kind of guessed. And lucky for me, I guessed right. All right, I guess we're uh, I guess we're committing here. We're committing. Let's do it. Oh boy! So I was completely out of not only stone but clay. Now I went and dug up some stone. I went and dug up some clay, and I was like, I was like, okay, I probably have enough clay now, and I probably have enough stone for this, you know, this project. But I wanted to get more, you know, because like I usually like to try and dig up a little bit more than I need, try and get ahead. But then I was thinking, I'm gonna have an auger tomorrow, maybe maybe it might not be a great idea to, to you know do extra work i don't need to be doing right now um because i'll have an auger tomorrow so why bother so that's what i did so i've got plenty of um i've got plenty of uh cobblestone for this uh i need to keep the steel off me so i can repair uh and we need to get this thing ready man we need to get this base ready it is uh it's basically day 21 already um and you know it, it, i'm not sure but i think i think next uh, episode is probably going to be horde night uh, I don't know. I might I might get another video in there. Maybe I'll go do a, a quick, you know, looting, uh, questing type video. But I really don't want to do another base building one. Um, I'd rather just, uh, you know, have the next the next uh, base building one be after Horde Night. So we'll see. But this should be pretty good. I mean, should be okay. I'm going to put some extra spikes down here as well. Um, just because. There's no reason not to. Uh, I have the spikes. I might as well use them, right? But first things first. Let's go ahead and do the things we absolutely know we need to do right away. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade these to... Oh, man. I don't have the concrete on me. Come on, Cage. Get your head in the game, bro. I've, I've got severe allergies today. Um, actually, this whole week. Uh, spring came in, and it hit me like a mofo. Uh, but not only that, but I was sick last week. I was sick uh, for like a day or day and a half or something. Um, and I'm not sick anymore, but I, I have a slight cough, and I've got some severe allergies. And um, for anyone who knows anything about me, they know when I have allergies. I can't think straight. And it's, it's really just, you know, it doesn't hurt. And it's just it's just kind of annoying, right? It doesn't hurt. It's not like a huge deal. But it is annoying. And um, I don't like it. By the way, I'm going to... Uh, should we make these in the stairs as well? I guess we should, right? I mean, if stairs are better, they're better. That's what everybody says. So I should probably put stairs on the other side as well. But yeah, my allergies, man... Ugh, I'll break that out later. Uh, my allergies... Oof. They, like, they, they really mess up my concentration. Like, I have a hard enough time concentrating as it is. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I did a lot of partying when I was a kid. And it's not easy for me to concentrate. But um, I really don't need the added headache of, um, you know, uh, freaking pain in the ass allergies. Okay, so I don't have any more stairs with me. So I'll have to remember to make some stairs when I go back to base. And good luck with that. Um, so, yeah, that is what it is. All right, so that's fine. So you're good. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade any of that stuff. Let's just upgrade these. And that's going to be it for that. I'll break that out off camera. I'll have to make these when I go back to base. Starting to get a little dark for you guys. And I'm not going to have that. There we go. Okay, so this part's done. I mean, I can't think of anything else I need to do here, to be honest. Um, I, I could put the dart traps in the sides, but I'm, I'm not quite ready for that. I'm going to be okay with just the dart trap shooting this way for the time being. Um, and this should be all ready to go. Uh, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to mark where we're going to put the other, uh, the other towers. 
So one, two, three. There's the other tower. That's the middle. Man, it still looks dark, don't it? Actually, that's okay with the light. All right, so that's the middle. Yep, so that's one, two, three. Okay, so that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. And now we can put down some more spikes. I basically want to make sure I, don't, I put the spikes around where the tower is going to be. So when I place the tower, I don't have to, like, you know, break up spikes. You know, the, the other towers. The uh, I mean, there's going to be... I got to put down two more towers around this thing. So, all right. So let's go ahead and grab the spikes. The old spiky spikes. Uh, we should also start upgrading these wooden bars as well. Uh, yeah, let's do that first. Let's do that first. Let me show you what I did down here. I got this uh, area all ready to go. So this is all looking good. Uh, let me go ahead and chop up that wood. I had some of these wooden bars. Remember that other like set of wooden bars? I chopped all those out. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Some people are asking me why I put cobblestone here. The reason I put cobblestone here is very simple. Because I want this to be a solid wall. Because the idea is... The idea is, if the zombies break in here, what they could do is, if, like, let's say these weren't up here, the zombies could just jump on top of these and get closer to me. So I want a solid wall of reinforced concrete here. So that's, that's why I'm doing this. Uh, so let's do this, and this, this, this. Come on. There we go. And then that way it'll be harder for them to kind of break in to get up to me. Okay. Why am I putting ones on the bottom? I don't know. Just because so the dart traps have something to sit on. Do they need something to sit on? Absolutely not. But that's okay. Alright. And then we're going to also upgrade this. Don't want to put this up. Yeah, why not? Let's put up the concrete. I'll probably leave it at concrete. I don't really need the... Re I'm hoping I don't need the... I hope I don't need these to reinforce concrete. If I need these to reinforce concrete, I've got big problems. Um, that means they broke in here and they're causing real headaches. But whatever. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll upgrade these bars to iron. And then we, You know what? I'm going to do the ones on the outside first. I think it's more important for the ones on the outside to be upgraded. Although, I will be in here at times, and, no, uh, let's see, a cop come up here and puke, right, cause issues. We should also put a hatch in here. So let's go ahead and put a hatch in here. Go, and, uh, yeah. Okay, now these iron bars are actually on, on the top block right here. Usually I put them on the bottom block, but now they're on the top block, and that's why that, that's why this uh, hatch can stay where it is, because it's being supported properly. And there we go. All right, looking good. Looking good. All right. So do I want to upgrade these on the... Nah, you know what? I think I really want to do the ones on the outside first. Let's also get out there and repair any damaged... Um, any damaged concrete blocks we see. Like this. That got to be repaired. This needs to be upgraded. There we go. Okay, because if you leave anything cracked, um, the zombies see that as a damaged block, and they just con they, they just conjugate on that spot, and they'll just you know they'll just crowd up around that spot, beat on that one block, and next thing you know, you got issues. Why well, I didn't see this? Okay, I will leave that for now. I'm actually running a little low on concrete, so I'm not going to go any higher on these blocks. Although maybe I should. You know what, I will, but let me make sure everything's repaired and make sure everything on the bottom is done before I uh, go ahead and move up any any farther. Alright guys, I went home, made some stairs, so let's go ahead and put those down. People are very excited about the stairs, they're like, Cage, the stairs are where it's at, so there you go. And that actually looks really good too, that looks, um, I don't know, I think that looks really good, I mean, I don't have another word for it, just slick. I think it looks good, you know. Um, and I didn't expect it to look good. I expected it to be functional, just did not expect it to look that good. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put these in here. So these will go like so. And like so. Do they go all the way up there? No, because I have to the corner. I'm not really sure where the corner is. I won't do the corner. I think what we'll do is we'll just put some right here. Why can't I see it? It's weird. Sometimes I can see it and sometimes I can't. All right, so straight up like that. That's not how I did it, is it? I want to do it exactly like I did it over here. So let's take a look. Uh, Alright, so the one on the corner is like a corner one. 
So, is that the one on the actual side? I can't... Uh, Alright, so that goes straight up, and then that one's a corner one. Alright. So this one, I think, is supposed to go like this. And then this one goes like this. Yeah. That looks good. That looks good. Like that. Actually, I don't think that's the way it's supposed to go. That's not the way I did it. No, it is not. These are supposed to be straight up, and that one right there is supposed to be the one that so goes sideways. I I'm not going to break them out. Um, I, I see where I messed up, but I'm, I'm not going to break them out. <laughs> you know, it's hard for me not to. i got to be honest with you, but I'm not going to do it. All right, so let's come on over here, and let's look at the middle. So that's the middle. So that goes right after there. That's the middle. One, one, two, three. So that goes right there. That goes right there and there, right? Right? One, two, three. Right? And then that's the middle over. No, it goes like this. Like that. And now these should meet up in the corner. I'm just making these out of wood because they're going to get picked up. All right. So is that right? So that's the middle. So it's supposed to go over one and then the wall. And then that's three from the wall. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. So let's go ahead and put these down. Um, again, I don't know how I did this. Uh, I guess I could just whatever. Just kind of... I don't know. I guess I'll do it the same in all spots, but... I'll just kind of wing it. Ow, you freaking moron. So I was in you wing it. All right, so that one goes like that. And then this one goes like that. That, that, that. And then these, they're going to be coming from the side. So these should be like this, right? Because they're going to be coming from that side. And then this one will be like that. Yes. Because if the, the zombies come in, they're going to be coming like this. So this is the way you want these to face. Makes total sense to me. Hope it makes sense to you too. Uh, let's go ahead and take one of these. Thought I saw something out there. All right. So now we just uh, we skip three spots. One, two, three. And there's the next part. There you go. Right? That's the middle over one. Three spots from the wall. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So what will happen is with this is when I'm ready to make the towers, if these spikes don't get broken out, I don't have to replace them. And if they do get broken out, it won't matter anyway. So like that, like that, that, that. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Hell yeah. All right, so that's going to be that. So that's one, two, three, wall. And like that, that's three from the side. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. We're good to go. This is wonderful. This is just wonderful. Oh, man, these guys are in for it. These guys are... Pff, these zombies are not going to know what hit them. I still got to set up the generator. You know, we should probably do that next. All right, guys, we're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, so um, let's hook up this generator. So do I want to put the generator up here? I don't see why not. This is where you'd probably want it to put the generator. And uh, I don't know if it matters where I put it. I guess I'll just put it right here for now. I can always move it if I want to. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. And we have to remember how we're supposed to do this. Uh, well, let's, let's do the um, tripwire first. Tripwire's got to come out here and then come back. No, the tripwire actually starts over here. Yeah, that's right. The tripwire starts right here. Goes out to the other tripwire and then comes back. Yeah, that's right. That's what. That's the way it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and get this down here. Let's go ahead and grab some of our relays. And let's see where we want to put this. All right, so it's got to be right there. So all three of those tripwires, we want them all separate. Um, so I guess we could just put it right here. That's as good a spot as any. All right, so... That could go to there. It's kind of in the way of the ladder. I don't really love that. But it's not like it matters because it's not going to get in our way. So I guess it's not really that big of a deal. Um, and I don't know if any other easier way to do it. Uh, well, I could put it up there. Yeah, that would probably be better. So up there and then we go like this. There we go. That's going through the wall, too. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. 
All right, guys, I can live with that. I don't like having this this low because it makes it uh, susceptible to zombie damage. But the problem is, if the zombies get in here, they'll break these out. If if they're going to break this out, they're probably going to break these out anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Um, so, you know, not really that big of a deal. Uh, it's going through the block a little bit there, but I can I can live with that, I guess. All right, so those are th that should be it, man. These should be uh, all ready to go. Uh, can I trip this myself? No, it doesn't look like I can. No, I'd have to go outside to try and trip these. I wouldn't be able to trip them now because there's uh, there's spikes in the way. Hmm, that's kind of a problem. I can't test. Uh, now, this should be going out to here. Those should be going out to the ones out there. And then it should be coming back to these. It should work. Should work. You know, we'll see. All right. So, um, well, they're not actually hooked up yet. So, it didn't really matter. It w they wouldn't work anyway. Oh, I got to move that freaking hatch. I didn't realize that hatch was in a bad spot. Oh, boy. All right. Freaking hatch. Get out of here. Get out of here, you stupid hatch. I'll put one down before the horde shows up. We gotta hook up those electric fence. So I'm gonna put the electric fence in a, you know, in a probably a very temporary spot right now. Not the electric fence. The electric fence are gonna stay where they are. But the relays that are gonna hook up to the electric fence, I'm gonna put those in a very temporary spot. Because, wow, I didn't realize this thing breaks down to so many levels. I'm really, I'm not gonna have to worry about these out there. But anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be very temporary where I put the relays because I'm probably going to move them eventually. But the whole build is not ready. So I can't move them right now because the build's not ready. So, uh, you know, I don't really know exactly where they're going to end up. For now, I will just put them right uh, on the outside. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Probably shouldn't have picked up my little staircase out here, but that's okay. All right, so then, uh, I mean, that's probably a good spot. I could do it on the inside, actually. Yeah, let's do it on the inside. All right, guys, I got everything hooked up. I'm going to give you a quick tour. Um, there's the generator. I put a couple of batteries in it, or I'm sorry, a couple of engines. Um, I went ahead and turned it on and fueled it and all that good stuff. And that is feeding down to this relay right here. That relay right here is going that way. We'll get into that in a moment, but it's also going down. Um, I think I showed you this, but it's going down into here. This is going into all the tripwire, right? And then this one right here is going over this way. All right, that one's coming over to here, right to there, goes down to there, and that one feeds into all three of the electric fence. Now, don't forget, the reason I do the electric fence, you got to get the electric fence here, and then feed it into this way. So that way when the electric fence gets damaged. And yes, I did test it. I brought over a couple of zombies and tested it. Um, just to make sure that dart traps and the electric fence were going off. And they were. Um, and then when the electric fence is getting damaged. I could just repair it from up here. Right? So, although it, it's weird. I'm not seeing it now. Oh, there we go. Pick up electric fence. There, see that one's damaged. Why can't I see that one? There we go. It's a little tricky. I think what I'll do is. I'll break out three of these bars, and I'll put hatches on all three of these spots. That way I can make... Yeah, that's actually... That's what I wanted to do originally. Let me actually break these out now, uh, before I forget. And you know what? I might as well put the hatches on them, too. So there we go. We'll get three hatches. We'll put these down, because I forgot, and I did this wrong. Um, you want to leave these open, uh, so I can repair. So, see right here? That one took damage. That's the one that damaged the zombies. This one's fine. And this one is fine as well. The one thing I need to remember uh, more than anything is to make sure I bring electric uh, parts or whatever they're called. Now I should be able to upgrade. And I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Because if I don't bring electric parts, I can't do anything. You know, I won't be able to. I won't be able to do anything with these. And it would. Wouldn't it be just like me to do this whole intricate setup, allowing me to repair, um, allowing me to repair these things? What this thing's really low. You know what's going on? By the way, I did this whole video. And the entire thing was low. And you know why? It's because I, I just did an episode of um, Borderlands and the zombies are really loud in that. And I was wondering why the game sounded so low. I gotta try and remember to turn that back up when I play from now on. Because Borderlands, I've been doing Borderlands mod, right, for 7 Days to Die. And um, the zombies are so freaking loud in Borderlands mod, I just had to turn it down. And then I forgot. I'm like, why does the game sound so low? So there you go. So I should be able to do each of these from here with no problem. I wish it was a little bit easier to see them. So I don't have to, like, kind of look around. But, yeah, it should be pretty good. All right. And then, um, yeah, so this is looking pretty good. Let's go get that auger, people. All right, guys, here we are. Now, I 
don't only just have picnic tables uh, to sell. I've got a lot of uh, iron tools. Now, the iron tools really don't sell for a lot. Um, I made them because I was, I don't know, I was kind of desperate, but they're really not worth it. I don't know how good the steel is going to be, but I can't imagine it's going to be worth it. Like, it doesn't seem like you really make money by selling stuff in this game, which is why I think the picnic tables is kind of messed up. Um, and it will be fixed, guys. Make sure you take advantage of it while you can. What's up, bro? Uh, you know what? Uh, well, I got a steel pick, so that's good. But I should probably keep the shovel, right? Because it's better than what I got. Does it matter? Eh, I like to have a purple shovel. Why not? Same thing with the axe. Oh, did I just sell stuff with per with um mods in them? I did. Ooh, can I buy those back? Uh, I can. Okay, well, I lost some money there because of that. Yeah, that was dumb. That was really dumb, actually. Um, that might have just cost me... Hold on. That might have just cost me the ability to buy the, uh, to buy the auger. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I just screwed that up pretty badly. Um, I'm not used to selling my tools, you know? Uh, I'm gonna have to remember to, to take the stuff out of them, um, uh, before I sell them. We might be able to still make the 20,000, um, Duke still. Let's see. Let's repair them. Uh, where's the other one? I repair the claw hammer, too. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. What's the other thing I sold? Oh, yeah, the shovel. Oh, that's a steel shovel. Oh, so I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be selling the steel shovel anyway. Stupid. Why you, Why you not think, Cage? All right, well, whatever. Uh, you know what? I might just keep this one and just sell the higher, the higher ones. Because, um... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna actually sell the higher quality ones just to try and get as much money as I can. And I really screwed that up. I can't believe I did that. Uh, all right. Well, it is what it is. Oh, I think we'll have enough. I think we'll have enough. How much is it? It's like 28, right? 28.32. Uh, that will not give me enough, will it? Boy, that's going to be close. Do I have anything else I could sell in case that doesn't give me enough? I really don't want to do the math. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, let's just sell this. I could always make another one. All right, there we go. Enough screwing around, Kate. Just buy the damn auger. I can't believe you. I can't believe you just threw away. I mean, how many th how many thousands of dukes did I just throw away? All right, well, whatever. Let's put these in there. Um, well, I'm not going to use that for the tree. Um, but that wood this wood splitter does help it, even though... Do I have another wood splitter at home? I think I might have another wood splitter at home. Now, this, this, this wood splitter does help the auger, even though it doesn't help it with, you know, more damage against wood. It does give it a boost. See? Right now it's at four. There it's at five. And, oh, that's block damage. I'm sorry. 42, 46. So that definitely helps. I think I have another wood splitter at home. For now, I'm going to leave the wood splitter in there. And we now have the auger. Even though I tried to screw it up, I tried my best to screw it up. I couldn't do it. The game wouldn't let me screw it up. <laughs> I'm going to have to make some more picnic tables <laughs> to get some more money. All right, let's go home and use this thing. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and... Throw this thing on our hot bar and let's give it some gas. I don't have any gas, but I do have some gas in my motorcycle over here. We're going to have to eventually find a shell mine, by the way, especially now that we have an auger. That's one thing we're going to have to keep an eye out for. All right, let's go ahead and load this up. And I want to make all my mine entrances like this from now on. I love this mine entrance. It's so wonderful. So wonderful. All right. So this is where I've been digging all my all my stone out, and I, I think I need stone more than anything right now. So let's just uh, let's just go ahead and dig some stone. And am I worried about screamers? You damn right, I'm not worried about screamers. Come at me, bro. There we go. So that's you know, this is definitely faster, definitely faster. And then let's just dig tunnels. It's just easier like that, I guess. Look at that. Gonna get what a, a thousand stone. Uh, what do you think, like 1,500 stone within one thing of gas? 1,000? 1,200 maybe? Yep, there's over 1,000. We're at 1,200. 1,300. I think we're getting about 1,500 stone per 200 units of gas. Yep, pretty much. That is awesome. Now, we will get some Screamers doing this, but, you know, because of the way we have our, our setup here, if any Screamers come down here, they're going to be in a, you know, they're going to be hurting. They're going to be hurting. I don't hear any Screamers either, so that's awesome. All right, guys. Well, we got the auger, and I'm happy about that. Next video will probably be Horde Night. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, 
Take it easy.